The hypersonic weapons race is upon us, with mainly Russia, China already having this technology, and the US, India, North Korea, Germany and France still developing it. It's obvious why the militaries of the world want missiles that can follow erratic paths at low altitudes while flying at five times or more the speed of sound, eluding any chance at detection or interception. There are two main types of hypersonic weapons, glide vehicles and cruise missiles. A hypersonic weapon travels at speeds of Mach 5 and higher, five times faster than the speed of sound, or 6173 km per hour, which is around 2 km per second. And since we'll be featuring the Russian Zircon hypersonic cruise missile, let us quickly explain what is the difference between a ballistic missile and a cruise missile in a small animation and then we'll discuss the ones who developed the hypersonic weapons and why they're such a big deal. I'm your host Isav and welcome to Defense and Geopolitics. To put it in a small animation, the ballistic missile's flight path is as a large arc up and back down again, being easy to detect and destroy. But of course, although it uses a large arc as a trajectory, the more speed it has, the better it can do against anti-air systems. Cruise missiles, on the other hand, are self-propelled for the majority of their time in the air, in a relatively straight line and at lower altitudes thanks to rocket propellant. A cruise missile, fired from a warship for instance, is closer to a straight line. Flying at such low altitudes and being highly maneuverable makes it very hard to detect and track. If it has a hypersonic speed of Mach 5 and higher, it will be even harder to detect. The more speed a hypersonic cruise missile has, the harder it is to detect and track it. Extreme speeds of Mach 8 and higher makes it impossible to detect. But what are the most remarkable hypersonic weapons in the world? The most remarkable is the Russian 3M22 Zircon hypersonic cruise missile. With an operational range of 1000 km, flight altitude of 28 km and a speed of Mach 9 or 11,000 km per hour, or almost 10 times the speed of sound. As you can see here, if it would be launched from this area towards an American ship that is 200 km away, it would take only one minute to reach its target. This cruise missile has an incredible speed that creates air pressure in front of it that forms a plasma cloud as it moves absorbing any radio waves and making it practically invisible to any active radar systems. And even if we assume that it's detected at the ship's 150 to 200 km radius, it would disappear from the radar tracking system every couple of seconds, and it would take 15 seconds for the ship to react and by that time the missile would have crossed 45 km. Going even further and assuming that the anti-air system would have launched the missile to intercept it. It won't be able to catch it, assuming it's a missile from the US Thought system which travels at about 10,000 km per hour, compared to the Zircon's 11,000 km per hour. This weapon can be used against ground and naval targets. For instance, one hypersonic cruise missile of this kind will cost around $1 million to produce and has the ability to destroy warships or military assets that cost tens of millions of dollars. To sum it up, the reason why hypersonic cruise missiles are such a big deal is because they travel five times or more the speed of sound and are extremely hard to intercept by existing missile defense systems. The more speed they have, the more radar systems will fail to detect, track and engage them. And that is why they are a weapon that will revolutionize the modern battles for decades to come. China also conducted a number of successful tests of the DF-16B. A medium-range ballistic missile designed to launch the DF-17 hypersonic glide vehicle. The DF-17 uses the rocket booster from the already operational medium-range ballistic missile. Again, this weapon is not a cruise missile, but rather a glide vehicle. It has about 2500 km of operational range and a speed of Mach 5 to Mach 6, which is around 7000 km per hour. These are the two countries that currently possess the hypersonic technology. The US is currently still developing hypersonic missiles. The US Army isn't expected to field hypersonic weapons before 2023. Meanwhile, the Missile Defense Agency hopes to provide a hypersonic missile defense capability by mid to late 2022. This may be too late to deal with and deter a Chinese-Russian capability that will only grow. The US has many projects of developing hypersonic weapons and will catch up to Russia and China in a few years' time. Other countries that are developing hypersonic weapons are India, North Korea, France, Germany and Japan. 
This was just a small video to explain why hypersonic weapons are such a big deal. Thank you so much for watching the video, if you liked the video give it a like, if you didn't give it a dislike, subscribe if you like this type of content, I've been your host Isif and I'll see you in the next video.